What is going on guys and welcome to a video on how to record with Shadowplay. Now we're going to be just going over a few things with Shadowplay and how to record with it and how to live stream to Twitch. Primarily how to live stream to Twitch. So the first thing first is what you want to do is you're going to want to prepare. So you're going to want to prepare in advance um, the basics of what you are going to be doing. So. In my case, uh, preparing will be going to the Twitch dashboard, changing the broadcast. I'm going to call this. Um, uh, I'm going to call it CS Go Random Stream. Uh, I'm going to change the game, so delete that, and then uh, if it's blank, just call it Counter Strike, and then it will come up with the option. Not source though, because. That's rubbish, global offensive, and then English, and then click update, and then it'll say changes saved. Then you have to do that, and then it will have a preview of the stream. Once you've done that, so you're going to minimize Twitch, and then you're going to come into the shadow play options. So I'm going to come over to here, open GeForce Experience. Now, this is the software which you use to edit the shadow play settings, but I'm going to go through it, so I'm going to log out. Um, and then look back in and basically go through the process of what you need to do if you're doing a first time setup Okay, so sorry about that. There's just a bit of technical difficulties So when you get into NVIDIA GeForce experience first things first you want to do is you want to click the shadow play button in the top right corner click that Click it there we go and then the um, shadow play Customize box or whatever you'd like to call it will come up so I've currently logged out uh, to show you what it is. So you're going to want to make sure this is green, so the switch is green. And then what you're going to want to do is be in Twitch mode, and then log in. So there we go. And then I'm going to quickly just log in. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is uh, change your quality settings. So I change mine to high. Because that way it will be just a decent quality and it won't take up your internet as much. And then you're going to change the audio to in-game and microphone so you can voice over as well. Then once you've done that, you're just going to want to click the close button. Then come to preferences, shadow play. And here's where you can customize your camera. So if you have a, uh, so a webcam, you can use that. So you click camera and then you can uh, put the position of which side you want it on the screen. How big you want it. Uh, it's just kind of in-depth, um, kind of more customised settings. Uh, so the microphone, so you can have it on push silk or always on. I have mine as always on. Uh, there's keyboard shortcuts and locations for recordings. Um, that's really what we need. Status indicator is in the bottom right to show that it's live streaming. And then the FPS counter is in the bottom right to show my FPS. And that's basically it. So once you've got all your settings set up, you can literally just close this down. Then you can open up a game and use the key. Um, so for me, it was. Oh, sorry. Why? Okay, and for me, the broadcasting to live stream is Alt plus F8. And just go into a game and click Alt F8, and that will start live streaming straight to your channel. Um, so that's really it. It's quite simple, actually, of what to do. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I ho hope this has helped a lot. Um, so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.